Andrew. Hi, Mike. Uh, morning at the uh, Telecom 2.0 conference in London. Thanks for taking some time to get straight into what's the core mission of the company and the differentiator that, uh, that your business unit's responsible for. Yeah, so Infonova is owned by Bearing Point, and uh, Infonova really is a software company, which is a different sort of mission in a way than a consulting company. So uh, Infonova is, uh, has been around for 20 years, and has a number of uh, customers uh, who are operating business support systems. In fact, in May last year, we launched our latest product, which uh, is a full Java end-to-end, multi-layer, multi-tenant platform for order to cash, um, which is quite a hot topic because, of course, it supports two-sided business models, which is where the Telco 2.0 uh, conference here is, is, is focused on how can Telco support two-sided business models and actually uh, enable tenant operators actually have, uh, have the use of their systems and assets. Okay, and to, to boil that down, where, does, where do you sort of start and finish with your product offering within an operator's infrastructure? So really the product is able to be used as a forklift replacement, but uh, most telcos have got extremely complicated systems already in place, and therefore um, we're also able to deploy it as an overlay system to, uh, to current systems in a non-intrusive way using Hulsel interfaces, and it's been designed specifically to do both so that an operator can deploy over wholesale systems, be they... You fit into things. the middle of what I've seen presented here in terms of the Telco, telco 2.0 type pitch. There's other buzzwords around SaaS and cloud computing, and uh, you, do you throw any of these un, other ones into the pot, and where would they fit in terms of your strategic direction and offering? Well, I think you know, we've been asked by several operators whether we would stand up our platform with a SaaS offering, um, and we could, uh, but actually it's not in our strategic uh, sort of uh, direction because we think that these, these systems are so core to, to what uh, the telcos and service providers need to do that to try and stand up uh, one platform as a, as, a, as a sort of SaaS or Salesforce type of scenario is really not within the keeping of, uh, of this, this industry at this particular point in time. Right, okay. And cloud computing? A very very important point. I mean, one of the key things that uh, for us was that earlier this year, an opera operator said to us, you know, "Could you actually put this in the cloud?" And we said, "Sure." And within three days, we'd actually put it in the Amazon cloud. Um, and what's interesting about putting it in the cloud is that any of the resources in that cloud can actually then be uh, tagged and actually uh, priced and, and productized for use by any other party. Which means that it actually has a, a very powerful revenue sharing and monetization capability across any of the resources and assets that are actually then being used by any other party in the cloud. So it, it, it's not the operator losing control potentially of the application, they can st it's still their application in this case, they just have a, a rapid deployment and easy scalability. Correct. That's, and that's your uh, yes. proposition. And, and more importantly, they're enabling their tenants to have the independence and, and space and capabilities to run their own business, which is different to really what's been in place so far within the, the, the telco world. Okay. And wh wh how do you go to market? What's, what's your route to market as a business? So our route to market is uh, through, uh, through multiple channels. Um, clearly there are lots of very competent uh, SIs uh, around the world who have an extremely good understanding of the various operators' requirements. And uh, what we want to do is to support them solve their, their clients, their customers' uh, um, issues. So uh, we have, uh, of course, being a product with APIs and SDKs, we have a you know, boot training for, for SIs to enable them to get into it. But you know, since it's a Java-based technology with, with other well-known standards uh, technologies, it's, it's quite uh, quick to enable a, a competent SI to pick up and actually uh, use this particular product. How, how scalable is the product? So. We haven't actually done end-to-end -end testing up to six to four million customers and users on the platform, but certainly the, the engineering team have said that's uh, those are the sort of numbers that they would say they could move to. Obviously, there'd be a journey to get to that particular point, but uh, certainly uh, you know, supporting a um, million customers right now within one implementation, so you know, we, we don't see any particular problems. And being Java, of course, it can work on any hardware environment um, because uh, that's just the nature of uh, that technology. Okay, well I, th I think that's a, a good summary for me anyway, so thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks, Mark. Good to see you.